Hey everybody, it is Scott from the Basement Quarter Arcade Show, aka Rascal. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you the unboxing and setup of this bad boy, the Buy Stuff Store Back Glass. This is my first kind of pre-recorded video, so please comment as to what was good, what was bad, what would, should I have done. Alright guys, thanks, have a great day. Attempted to slide it out like you would any other thing. But this was packed so darn tight, that's not going to be a thing. Spoke to the boys at Buy Stuff Store. They said it was a, packed a little tighter than they anticipated. So this is going to be more of an unwrapping than in a uh, slide-out situation. Let's see how this goes. Find the knife. Cut the side seam. That's glued as well. Oh yeah, this is quite the unboxing. Let's see here, here we go. I will say liberal amounts of glue used in packaging. Point, we can get the box out of the way. Let's see how that looks from your point of view. So as you can see, packed in a heck of a lot of foam. Let's start whittling this away. Looks like this will be the unveiling. Again, liberal amounts of foam used in packing. There we go. Just seeing that side art, I'll show you guys in a little bit. That looks really, really good. I can't wait to get this out of the way. Get all the plastic off this and I'll show you what it looks like in a 360. Some serious vacuuming going on. All right, let me dismount this. What you're seeing here is the original back glass, 15.6 inch, is now used as a DMD. We've got the speakers mounted on either side, 24 inch monitor, put it in the back or top for the back glass. Some custom art printed that I had sent over to Buy Stuff Store. I think uh, resolution was great. Came out very nice. Taking a peek on the inside here, you can see the back of the Monitor for the back glass mounted in there. HDMI port, power. Speakers run to the side there. Using the same connector that At Games uses for the speakers. So that'll be easy to connect. Looks like I've got a tie down here for cables. And then I've got the EDP cable to go ahead and split that off of the Vibs board. Right now, a back is not included with this. I'll probably go ahead and add one myself. 
but I'd like to know from the user, users, viewers, what you think. Keep it open or would you put a back on it? Also, you can see here the holes cut out to bring in the flat cables that are going to supply the HDMI and USB so that way nothing is coming out the front. And then the two holes drilled to either side for the VIBS board uh, button. Speaking of the VIBS board, here are four posts with screws in them, just waiting to have the VIB board attach. Let's go back to that other side look like. I took the same collage and just kind of moved it over a little bit, make it fit right in the dimensions there. Can't wait to see that on the ALP. One part I missed in the unboxing is the box of goodies. Let's see what we've got here. I have the two flat cables. Here is the HDMI. That'll plug in on the ALP, go under the back box. And this part here will come into the back box to plug in. That'll be for the play field. We have a second. This is the USB for OTG play. This will be going on the ALP as well. Running underneath the back box. Coming up inside the back box for the USB. Got a couple of zip ties. We're zip tying the cables once we're in there. Get those out of the way. I've got power, which I assume is for the monitor. Shipped a US plug for me. And I've got power extension. So that way you can go ahead and take the barrel connector from that power brick extend it to get up to the monitor and last but not least two covers to go over the flat cables as you'll see these flat cables kind of have an exposed side to them when they're sitting on the ALP and these covers will slide over them give that nice clean look or as my friend Bobby Vu would say, it's going to be clean like a mother to die for. Buy stuff store back box. All right. Let me start testing some pieces out before we get this mounted. And then we'll do some more video then. Before taking off the Vibs board and the old back box, I hooked up the flat cables just to make sure both the HDMI and the USB were working. As you can see, Playfield has got HDMI and that is actually using the trackball on the control panel to control the mouse so we have USB. So we are now ready to disassemble the old back box, take the Vibs board out, put it inside the new one and get that mounted up. Okay so I've got the flat cables ready. They're underneath the back box. And I've got the back box right here. So let me see if I can carefully lift the back box without blocking the camera. Get the HDMI coming through. Go. And then the USB coming through. All right. Let them rest right there. I'm going to go ahead and find the wing nuts, see if we can line up the first one here. So wing nut number one will be here. All right, got that one lined up just fine. We're going to skip wing nut number two. This one would literally go ahead and cut into the USB cable, so we're not going to do that. Get wing nuts number three and four. 
line them up accordingly. Let's see, there we go. Now, I'm not going to use either of the two holes that they've got pre drilled for the Vibs button since I've already drilled one myself in my currently out of warranty ALP. So, get this one attached. I've already got a lot of the cables already pre run here, so I'm going to find the cable right now that supplies power to the speaker or the speaker cable actually. That's gonna be for my Vibs button. I'll bring that up. Connect that to the Vibs board. And there we go. Find the one for the speaker. Let's see where I left that. There it is. Bring that up. Connect that to the speakers. Got that done. Just a few more left got the original EDP cable. I'm going to run up here and that's going to have to be actually run underneath the board. So I may see if I can swing this without taking everything apart. If not, this will be a hard edit and have to remove the Vibs board to do that. Let's see how much slack I've got here. All right, got it coming through the side here. A little more slack. And it's gonna be actually a wee bit of a bend to get that to go. Let's see how we're doing underneath here so I don't do too much of a bend. All right, looking good there. And it's gonna be a slight bend to get that into here. And there we go. I would recommend getting that in before you mount the screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick edit now. We'll cut and do the rest of the install. So best to go ahead and get all the connections done first. As you'll see here, I've already got the connection for the one going to the monitor, the one coming from the main board, as well as the lead going to my switcher button. So at this point, carefully, I'm just gonna do a little bit of folding here, place it back on the posts, and then we can go ahead and secure those. Again, let me come back over there and do a zoom if I can to show you what we're talking about as to how tight that cable is going to be. Which is why you want to go ahead and make sure you get it seated first before putting on the connectors. Do a quick zoom to there. As you can see that is quite the fold going on there. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the screws and I'll be back. Okay, I've already got all the rest of the cables ready to go in here. So let's go ahead and attach them first. I'm gonna go ahead and attach to the new back glass for OTG. I've got an HDMI cable here that I will run up through the center hole. a six foot cable give me some spare slack for now then we've got the power I've already got that waiting for me here also inside the bottom of the pinball body play field get enough slack ready and that up the center as well And then to go ahead and hook up the play field, I've already got a USB and a 
HDMI ready from a port that I've got in the back of the Playfield box. Let's run these up. I'll probably put a back uh, piece of board in the back of this later. So this connection here is going to be temporary. And there we go to the flat cable coming off of the front. And then for the USB, same thing. I'm just going to position those in such a way that there's not much stress on them. I'll find a permanent way to mount those a little later today. Last but not least, just going to bring in one more HDMI to go to the VIBS board, which will end up being the DMD in OTG mode. But of course, that monitor right there is going to be still be your back glass for when you're doing regular pinball games. All right, this point we've got all the internal connections made. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in a laptop so we can see three screen mode working, or at least three screens working, and I will be right back. All the cables are hooked up and back. You can see we still have the naked USB and HDMI connection, but remember those two covers I told you about? I'll go ahead and slide these on. go put the USB on do the HDMI all right fully covered up not looking like it's out of place let's go ahead and put this thing into mood to play let's see let's pan out a little bit as you can see I've got the Bottom being the back glass for built-in tables. Computers displaying whatever I want. Basically right now the basement corner arcade show on the top. And we go ahead and put this thing to OTG mode. Flip the button to get that to the OTG side. And let's go ahead and launch Popper. See what we look like here. All right, coming up into Popper. That's my first table to launch into FX3. I guess you've got the back glass at the top, DMD in the middle. Let's go ahead and launch ACDC. Hope that I don't get too much of the song playing. I need to get a copyright infringement notice. And as you can see, we've got three screens rocking with the new Buy Stuff Store back glass. I'll go ahead and get this thing put back in place and do a few still shots. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Alright everybody, well thank you for watching my first pre-recorded kind of video here for the channel. Again, please comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could have done better. All right? Thanks again, guys, and I will see you later.